what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? An Alabama judge has ruled that a law barring teachers from having sex with their students is unconstitutional. This ruling led to the dismissal of charges against two people who were facing 20 years in prison for sleeping with their students. Carrie Witt, 44, a former high school teacher, and David Solomon, 27, a former aide at a different school, were both dismissed of their charges by Judge Glenn Thompson. The state law dictates that school employees who engage in a sex act or deviant sexual intercourse with a student under the age of 19, even if it was consensual, could be charged with a Class B felony that has up to 20 years jail time. Also, the person would be required to register as a sex offender if convicted. Thompson ruled that prosecutors must prove that the teacher used a position of authority to coerce, groom, or otherwise obtain illegitimate consent of the alleged victims. Witt's attorneys had argued that the two students Witt is accused of having sex with weren't under her direct authority and were capable of consenting. Morgan County District Attorney Scott Anderson says he disagrees with the ruling and that an appeal will be filed. When I first saw the headline to this story, I thought that the judge probably made a 4.0 GPA in law school, but doesn't know how to close a window when it rains. But then after I read what he had to say, hold your chest, I actually agree. Since the age of consent is 16 in Alabama, if the students had went to another school, this would not have been a violation of the law. If it's not illegal in that situation, why should it be illegal in a situation where the teacher does not have direct authority over the student that attends the school where they work at? All the judge is saying to the prosecutor is, Prove to me that the teacher used their position of power over the student to coerce the student into having sex. That's all he's that's basically what he's asking. So this would not be illegal in any other situation. Students let their guards down in academic settings, giving educators an unfair advantage that would not exist outside of that social structure. So this is why parents feel duped. But the people of Alabama is going to have to push their lawmakers to change the law. Because legally, the judge got it right. Legally. Ethically, that's a problem. You have people that say, well, if the kid is of consent, if they're 16, they're old enough to have sex with whoever they want to, and the parents need to just back off. Negative. If I'm paying for rent, gas, utilities, cell phone bill, entertainment, my kid is a damn dependent, not an adult. So... I got a whole lot of say on whatever they do. I got a whole lot of saying whatever they do. I think what most people are in an uproar over is the ethical part of this. Because legally, these uh, teachers should not be in jail. Legally. I mean, if the age of consent is 16, man, that's what it is. You can't get mad because... Your, your 16 year old decided to have sex with a 40 year old. You can't get mad. I'm talking about on the legal side. If that's what the law is, that's what the law is. If the people don't like the law, it's up to the people to change the law. This shouldn't be a surprise for the people of Alabama. They had to be for it because that's their law. 16 is their law. 16 is the age of consent. That surprised me, though. I didn't even know it was a state in the United States that had a legal age of 16. 
I thought that was in Europe and, and other places. I didn't, I didn't know 16 was the age of consent in Alabama or anywhere in the U.S. But apparently, this is what the people of Alabama wanted. Now, if that's the law, that is the law. You're either going to follow the law or you're not going to follow the law. You're either going to respect all the laws of the land or you're not going to respect any of the laws of the land. You can't pick and choose which laws you want to respect or abide by when it suits you. It's got to be straight across the board. Again, people are upset, I do believe, more so about the ethical side of this. This is why at colleges and universities, teachers, professors are not allowed to have sexual relations with students. And that is because they have authority over these students where the, the whole academia can be compromised because you will have students having sex with teachers for grades. And so, and not to say that that's not going on. I mean, we know that's going on, but there's a certain level of oversight. Even though the students are grown, even though they're adults, they still have those bylaws in place at colleges and universities. You can even take it even further into the military. In the military, officers cannot have sexual relations with their underlings for the simple fact is common sense because they have authority over these people. And so it creates, uh, it creates an environment that is not conducive to, uh, to being ethical and not conducive to being, being able to do your job without prejudice. So this is why they put these type of uh, laws in place. I can actually see this going all the way to the Supreme Court because this is not one of those type of arguments that is just black and white. Because again, we have a, a legal part of this and then we have an ethical part of it. And so that's the, the that's a lot of great area right there. And you're going to have a, I think it's going to be a lot of opposition on both sides. It's going to be a lot of contested opposition, <laughs> like very, very angry opposition on both sides. But you can see how it works out. Said student needs a good grade from said teacher. Said student has sex with said teacher and gets the grade and they brag about it and then another student who's jealous about the situation goes to the administration and says look they had sex for grades next thing you know teacher fired student probably won't get kicked out of school but at the least they'll be shamed now if we go back to the whole part about, well, if long as they don't have any authority, direct authority over the kid, then they should be able to have sex with the kid. The problem with that is that teachers always have some form of authority over kids, even if they aren't that kid's teacher. They Even if that kid is not it never enters their classroom. Teachers, adults, period, in any type of school settings have some form of authority over the children. So you can also see teachers colluding to say, look, man, you know, you know, I want to have do this, do, do, do her and look here. Or not just man, but the, the teacher, the male teacher hooking up with her female teacher and you know they may have eyes for uh, students in each one each other's classrooms 
and they make a deal. Look, I'm going to take care of her grade. You take care of his grade. You see how that work? And, man, you have a big old damn orgy going on at the schoolhouse. The bottom line is this, man. The human brain doesn't really reach adult capacity till 26. This is science. So that means that these youngsters really are incapable of seeing the big picture. So it boils down to not dipping your pen in company ink. It's as simple as that. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.